Yes, well, Liz, I'm standing in front of Bernice McNaughton High School, which is the scene of a heated debate between the school's administration and the students. Um, the students and the administration are fighting over uh, this new controversial dress code policy, which um, has students upset with the administration, over, particularly over the uh, ban on sweatpants and uh, gym clothes. Well, the dress code has actually been in effect for about four or five years now, but um, just a recent crackdown that the administration has had on the wearing of sweatpants has many students upset. And, um, well, the sweatpants are the hottest topic in the debate. Um, it's brought back a lot of uh, controversy over some of the other dress code policies, which uh, are, in fact, goth-style makeup, um, jeans which are frayed at the hem, um, clothing displaying non-school related activities such as uh, non-school related hockey teams or sports teams or youth groups, things like that. Yes, well, I asked some students from Bernice McNaughton High about why they were so angry with the dress code policy, and they said they feel that it uh, targets certain subgroups of students, such as golf-inspired or maybe sports-inspired students. And they said that it's also very difficult for some students who are maybe have health problems or overweight or some trouble walking, that it's kind of hard to find clothing that is properly fitting that aren't sweatpants. And um, they also said that they feel that it's an unrealistic expectation to expect that teenagers to come to school, to a public school especially, dress like they are going to work. Well, there is a Facebook group um, called Where Do Our Sweats Go, which is about 550 members. And um, this group is basically organized by a couple of students, and they're urging students not to wear sweatpants to school to protest this. They actually want to meet with the administration and maybe work out the dress code policy and find something that works for everyone. Well, well, I contacted the uh, principal of Bernice McNaughton, Gary Wilson, about to try and get his perspective on this, but uh, he told me that the matter is closed and he doesn't wish to talk about it anymore, and he wants to put the focus back on uh, the education aspect of the school. But uh, he did tell a local reporter that he, he expects students to come to school dressed like they were coming to a workforce and he doesn't think that that's an unrealistic expectation. They're going to be graduating soon, going out into the real world, having to wear proper clothing. And uh, he also did tell some students uh, that if they did come up with a, a valuable reason why they should be able to wear sweatpants and write some maybe well thought out essays, that he would accept that. Yes, so you're right, Liz. Um, he said that he is open to debating the matter, perhaps with some uh, concise students who will write some essays and have an opinion that is well thought out and can maybe get some, get some feedback about a new dress code that they could work for everyone. Back to you, Liz.